what? This is Randy Thompson coming to you live with Trudy Adams and Miss Annie. We're working on, on just keeping her connected with the walk. And Annie's in a barn that isn't her own, so she's looking for her mares. And what Trudy's doing is that it's really a half halt. So she's doing a half halt where she can get Annie's head up where she feels like she's really thicker in the neck. And that's when Annie's sitting down more instead of dropping on her front end. Good, good. Take your time. Yeah, and you'll notice she's going to drop you like how many steps? Every step? That's right. So you know what you need to do. That's when you need to supple her, half halt, put her back under your seat, and praise her. Show her where you want her to be, then praise her. Good. That's it. She's starting to drop her pole too low. So that's where you can either slow down the steps of the walk until she lifts her shoulders up, or you can supple her, but you've got to get her. When you do a half halt feeling with her, she's got to keep her pole up high. Right there. Praise her. Well, we were riding her more like a tree. She's saying she hasn't, we haven't been doing that, and we haven't because uh, we're just now starting to teach. Annie, how to stay connected. This is like the uh, fifth or sixth, well, maybe the seventh time that we've asked her to stay connected at all of her gates. Good, good. So that's exactly right because this is new. Keep the activity behind though. That's the trick because she'll get you so focused on what you're doing in the front that you'll forget what's happening behind. That's it. Good, Trudy. Yes, and praise her. Get the pole to the highest point. You know what you need to do. It's almost like backing up. You're going to feel like her. That's it. Praise her. It's a new feeling for her. Good. So it's a sense of backing up. If you back a horse up, you'll feel them lift their shoulders. So what Trudy is doing is slowing down the reins just enough where she feels Annie's front end begin to lift up instead of the usual dropping that a green horse will do. Good, Trudy. That's all right. Yep, supple her jaw, supple her pole. If you want to trot, you can trot. You're just going to feel this different balance. This is when her back is up. I'm, ask, I'm just asking for some, trans, some transitions. That's perfect. She just said she's asking for transitions. Ask her to, yep, she's got to give you a little bit on her rein first before you do a transition. She's got to do a, like a mini stretch. Good. That's it. That's it. Yep. This is where you're going to guide her. Put, tell her where you want her to keep her nose. Then praise her. Nice how you're keeping the back end active. Good. Good, Trudy. And praise her because we're bringing her to a new level by keeping her pole up on purpose and the connection from your leg to the rain. That's right. So whenever her head comes up like that is when she's disconnected. It's not a bad thing. It's where she is going from, you know, going into training level. We're asking her for more of a connection. So this is typical for any horse. She's, like you said, she's not used to this. You're getting her to where she likes it. Because once they get the feeling of being connected, most horses really like that connection. Good. Take your time. Take your time. Just keep her back end active. Good. Yep. Suppler on the outside rein and leg. So half of your circle, you're going to supple her with your outside rein and leg. The other half, try your inside. So when you use the outside, it's almost going to be like a shoulder in. When you do the inside, it's going to be almost like a, half, uh, a leg yield, just to make sure that she's moving from your leg and your reins. Good. It's so easy to get lost in the reins at this point, right? <laughs> That's right. So think, every time you use a rein, you've got to add the leg, rein, leg on the same side. Good. So what she's doing is she's using her aids on the same side at the same time that Annie's picking up her inside hind. Or if she's using her inside aids, it's when the inside hind is off the ground. Yeah, how do you like this trot? Good girl. Keep her supple. And then you just feel, when do you need to do the leg yieldy feeling? When do you need to do the shoulder in feeling? And it's going to change all the time. That's normal. Again, this is normal for a horse learning how to do this. Pull the highest point. 
Remember to let go a little on your inside rein because that's your stretchy rein. Good, good. Good. She's just getting a little tired, but you can ride her through this right now, all right? Look at how submissive she's getting for you. So now go from a medium trot into a lengthening, keeping her shoulder up. That's it. There you go. Whoop, whoop. Keep her supple. Keep her supple. Keep her supple. That's right. Supple her. Supple her more. If her nose is up, you're not asking her to stay soft in her jaw and her pole. That's it. Good, Trudy. Back to your medium trot. Working trot, I should say. There you go. Feel the suspension. Keep her supple. Now lengthen. Good, good. Keep her supple. Keep her supple. When you ever you do a diagonal, you know what you have to do, right? Yep. So every diagonal, you're going to come to the other end and change directions. And it's okay if you do diagonals. Just realize that so she doesn't get into the habit of diving through the diagonals. When you go across the diagonal, you're going to use it as an opportunity to change something. Good. Good. Keep her pull up. Outside rein and leg. Now, now. Good, good. Keep her pull up. So right at first she might fly a little bit. She's not being bad. That's it. You felt where she disconnected, didn't you? Yeah, you did because she's used to blowing through the corners. Wait until you do this in your ring. Good. That's right. Go from your medium, more, more push. Supple, supple, supple. Supple. Good. You can go into a little bit of a lengthening. Supple, supple, supple. She has to stay supple. More push. Yep, her activity needs to stay at a seven. That's it. Keep the activity because activity, that's how you'll get her to connect to the front. It's always the leg into the rein. And as a result, they lift their backs and get more responsive with time. Again, this horse is just learning how to do this. Good, good. Praise her. Send her forward. Whenever she gets stuck, you send her forward, but she has to stay soft on the rein. So that's where you're going to play with suffling her with the jaw. Steps to connection. Soften the jaw. Soften the pole. Make sure her neck is loose. And as a result, her back will come up and she'll pick you up. Good. Make sure she keeps you under your seat as you change directions. You feel where she drops you? That's where your rein isn't helping you stay under her, keep you under your seat. That's it. There. Now you've got her under your seat. Do you feel it? Yeah. Whoop. Keep her under your seat. It's all right. Whew, what a good girl, Miss Annie. Whew, what did you just learn from that exercise? Well, um, you know, just keeping them up underneath you. You have to. That's keep right. Up underneath or they just are running on the front forehand. And that doesn't work unless you supple them and keep them active, right. which makes no sense at all, does it? Yeah, and it's hard. She's <laughs> distracted today. Well, yeah. But do you notice as you did it, she yeah. was less distracted? What yeah, she did, what, was. what did she you did feel good. change in your trot? Oh, it felt really nice. It was very... Um, She's getting airtime. Almost bouncy, but yeah. not um, too quick. I mean, it just felt like she was really pushing. Yes. She's starting to get suspension. That's good. You want to walk for a minute? She's just saddling her horse up so you still have time. Or whatever. Yeah, I'll walk her. 